Hey Virgo, welcome to your February 2018 reading. So, I want to hear all about Virgo, your January. Let me know in the comments below, especially the end of January. You know, we had the Leo full moon and lunar eclipse that happened on the 31st. So, let me know what happened around then. Just maybe what shifts occurred, what changed, if anything changed, or you know, how you were feeling, all that kind of good stuff. So Virgo, um, I've already started kind of shuffling a course and tuning in here, but um, we don't have a full moon in February. So that's kind of different, right? So what's gonna be accentuated in February for everyone is the new moon, which happens, I believe, on the 15th of the month. And it's the new moon in Aquarius. And also the solar eclipse happens. And so we're in eclipse season, right? So if you're not doing what you're supposed to do, or if you don't feel like you're on the right path, or you sense that you just, that there is going to be this movement and that there's going to, something's coming in to get rid of something because something isn't working for you. It's going to happen because eclipses, that's what they do. That's the universe's way of coming in and ridding you of those things in the closet that no longer serve you. So it's honestly, I'm excited about February. You know, and transformation doesn't have to be scary either, but sometimes it's a little uncomfortable, right? But we're in eclipse season and it's really, it's wrapping up the eclipses that we had in 2017. So I feel like this is the time where the universe is kind of giving us more of like a pat on the back or giving us a little gift almost for being like, you know what? You went through all this, you learn these lessons that I've been teaching you, you address these things that were brought up for you. So here's a little something something. You know, I, I'm, I'm kind of picking that up for a lot of the signs this month. But without further ado, let's see what is popping up here. you see a little smoke over here, Virgo? It's just, I'm, I'm burning a little bit of sage. Woo! -hoo. Gotta love the sage. Hmm. Okay, Virgo. What is So Virgo, I ooh, do want to go ahead and mention that I've added some new content to my Etsy shop. I'm super stoked about it because I added this, I have a chakra special starting this month and I'm excited about it because I've collaborated with my sister and she's a very talented artist. Art, personalized art is included with the chakra reading and she paints from the cards that are drawn and from the interpretation from your reading. And it's just an extra added tangible thing that you can have that constantly is, it's, it's art, you know, it's therapeutic art that is there to encourage and enlighten you. And she did me one and it was just so, so beautiful and just, Every time I look at it, you know, it just gives me this uh, kind of healing and inspirational sort of lightness. And it's and it's it's just beautiful. So be sure to check that out, Virgos. Be sure to check it out. So the first card we have out here for you, Queen of Pentacles. All right, good. I like it. To me, this speaks very much of you, just your sign, Virgo. 
you're earthy, you're like the mother, your sign is like that mother nurturer of the zodiac. I feel like I'm getting the sense a lot of you Virgos have kind of been patiently waiting for some things to come to fruition in <laughs> with a moon card. <laughs> By the way, I'm doing like a more simplistic version of a Celtic spread this month. Just kind of thought I'd change it up and, and do this spread for you. Oop, there we go. Yeah, so I feel like a lot of you Virgos have kind of been patiently waiting for the right time to maybe really act. And maybe, I feel like this is a, a month too of like taking some time to just kind of Take care of your health a little bit. Ooh. Okay. Finding, already I'm kind of seeing like this message of finding balance in your work life and what is connected to your spirituality. Like spiritually, what are you being called to do on a, on a deep level, on an internal level? I feel like you're, wor you're looking at what the balance is and how you can almost like incorporate this deeper part of yourself and deeper, your deeper heart's desire, how you can work that into your job or into your project and how that comes across to other people and how it makes you feel you know it's it's like this balance of self how it makes you feel at heart and the reward how you Feel rewarded from doing it and how you want others to feel rewarded how you want others to feel the message to feel your efforts I think a lot of you are taking a very deep and spiritual sort of look at your creativity and your work and how that can bring you joy, but really not forgetting other people, that balance, you know, of how it affects you, but affects and brings others that joy or that sense of balance. You know, I'm feeling this card. Oh, the sun. Okay. Y'all have three major arcanas here too. Yeah, and on the bottom of the deck, four pentacles here. Okay. So yeah, Virgo, I feel like many of you in February here, that is your, that is the goal, is finding the balance between what makes you really happy and your spirituality here, you know, of 
on a deeper level and within yourself, how that translates and how it translates to others and just how, you know, how you are being seen and appreciated by other people. That's coming up for you this month here. Finding the balance. That is kind of what, let me just angle this down a little bit more. That is kind of what this is all about, right? That's what life's about is stepping into our best selves, being our best version of ourselves and finding that balance of giving and of receiving and of self-care and caring for others. I feel like some of you Virgos also what is, what is popping up is in regards to what you feel is your purpose and what you feel is your work, how, how you create and make money in this world. I think maybe some things, you're coming from some things deceptions almost, some deceptions and some things that have just kind of been hidden from your view, especially in regards to your purpose and to your work, to your creativity those things that have just kind of been hidden and have been have not really that have just been that have just been really murky that is being brought up for you and you are going to be finding and discovering that balance and that that sense of purpose and so I'm going to take you back up here with me Virgo okay and it looks really good Virgo I see y'all Coming out on top. Look, sun at the top here. The sun card. Woohoo! This is, you know, being joy being joyous. Feeling that sense of freedom. That's especially from this rebalancing. And you know, and, and rebalancing things could mean that you're you, you know, you're having to restructure some things in your work. Take a slightly different creative route because something is come up that is just that has not been working for you and that is just kind of been like Something that's almost been like an energy sucker is what I'm getting, honestly. But there is this power, this luminary energy in your reading here. You got the moon and the sun here. You've got past and future here, right? So... Yep. This is this Virgo is about letting go of what you thought was going to work creatively for you.
and embracing, you know, rebalancing from that, restructuring your process here. That giving you that equilibrium again to be here, to be, to step into your best, highest potential form of creativity. That's what this is. And feeling, I feel like health is really strong for you, Virgos, this month as well. You're going to be feeling really, really healthy. And I think a, a, a lot of you, it's, you're going to be doing some of that, um, finding the balance there with, with self-care and taking some time out for yourself to relook at your creative ideas and just rebalancing that work life, that work purpose, the work you put out in the world, your service to others, how it can be a rewarding and spiritual experience for you and how it can touch and give to others in the best way as well. You know, it's all about finding that just and balanced place. And I don't know, for a lot of you Virgos, I, I, I just, I see things Y'all really working through this and working through this in such such a healthy way. Like you have so much luminary energy here and support from the universe saying you're good. Your power and connection here between Earth and solar energy is is going to help propel you and give you that centered and balanced feeling. So I'm going to draw a rune stone for you as well, Virgo, and just get a little more insight here from the runes. Okay, Ooh. almost knocked over my mug. So we have a was. So yeah, this speaks of like just this minor little setback here that is, you know, bring brought up here with the moon card in, in your recent past here. Just a minor minor little stump stump in the road just a little scratch that that you got to propel through in order to achieve that bigger better picture that is going to bring that sense of equality and feeling feeling like you are merging your desires and other people's desires into one. You know, and that being done in a very, very healthy, very structured and balanced way. You got this. You got this, Virgo. So yeah, Virgo, that is essentially the message here for you. That is what is being highlighted in February. And it's exciting stuff. I'm just, like I said, I, this, this month really is, ah, I don't know. I'm really excited about it. And 
there's a few signs that, I mean, this, this sun card has popped out in their reading too. I mean, it's just a sunny, warm, exuberant kind of energy. It's, it, to me, this is like we talked about in the beginning of this video here, like the universe giving you that added support and that added joy and sense of prosperity, you know, through all the self-reflection and all of that inner work that you've been putting in in the last several months, this is that this is that little gift from the universe and clearing that up. So just don't be afraid, Virgo, to release, you know, whenever that thing comes up that that um, speaks of your creativity and that thing that just is not serving you, that's not going to work for you, that's not going to bring you that sense of um, equal sort of joy and equal sort of, you know, between others and between yourself. Like, don't be afraid to take this new creative turn, if you will. Because there's some kind of new creative turn you're going to have to make and it will bring you that justice, that balance. Yeah, so that's all we got for you today, Virgo. So thank you so much, Virgo, for tuning in again here in February. And I suppose I will be seeing y'all in March. But now I do want to let y'all know too, I, if you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram, okay? I'm going to leave that information below. Post, I post all kinds of random stuff and like fun tips and whatnot all the time. So... Be sure to check that out. And also, if you want to do a personal reading with me this month, I would I would love to work with you, Virgo. Um, like I said, I've added some new content I'm so excited about. And just, you know, getting to partner up with, with someone else and stuff is just always... It can be a slightly frightening thing at first, but it's really exciting. And so, yeah, just be sure to check that out, Virgo. So, do your thing this month, and I will see you next time. Take care, all right?